Hello friends, today I will show you Visual Studio for Mac. Before I was uh, developing C Sharp constantly and I was a .NET developer. Uh, currently I am working with many platforms uh, such as Node.js, ASP.NET Core, Python, Django, uh, JavaScript uh, and tons of other things. So uh, I rarely uh, write uh, C Sharp these days, uh, but C Sharp is one of the important language for me. Uh, well, before uh, it was hard to write C Sharp uh, and Max uh, before ASP.NET Core. Uh, so most of the people used a compiler called Mono, uh, but it was not enough. Then uh, IntelliJ IE come with a software called Rider it's installed here uh, maybe I will check uh, this in another video today I want to talk on Visual Studio for Mac was launched first in tw uh, 2017 uh, and uh, I bought my first Mac in 2017 but I, I couldn't use it, uh, with it at that time uh, well uh, three months ago I tried to move to Mac from Windows and it was really a hard decision for me as a .NET engineer but uh, I, I didn't need to use a PC after that uh, I'm totally good with uh, Visual Studio for Mac at the same time you can use Visual Studio code uh, which is a nice text editor made by Microsoft let me show you okay this is Visual Studio code uh, actually it's a text editor and you can install many plugins to it and it's a really cool thing and uh, I will also make another video on this guy but uh, especially today I want to talk on Visual Studio so let's get in with Visual Studio for Mac you can develop uh, ASP.NET Core web application, web API, uh, mobile applications and Xamarin applications cross-platform so uh, here uh, Either I can choose a recent projects from here that I have worked with them previously. I can open a project and I can choose the new project. So while choosing this new project, uh, currently I'm using the 2019 version of Visual Studio for Mac. Uh, here we have multi-platform a library, so we can share. Uh, we can choose. .NET Core for web. Uh, we can uh, create a class library. Uh, some test file and test x test ms test cloud applications azure uh, and maybe some other dotnet platform generally we web forms mvc mptsp.net core projects f sharp uh, and some other stuff so uh, i would go with uh, app and we will try to choose a console app so yeah let's go next so uh, it will search on my machine uh, I will use .NET 2.1 and hit the next uh, we will give the name to a project so let's call this test console and we will we'll browse the project uh, directory and uh, I would love to make a directory on my desktop so I will create a new folder and I will call it test console so yeah it's on my desktop so i just created so uh yeah i want to create uh, a solution in the directory folder uh even it's not a uh, optional you can just uh, hit it so next is i want to create a git for my repository maybe if you want to use version control systems and it can generate a git ignore file so let's create it it's much easy and amazing the debugging uh, debug process is amazing here so uh, well let me talk on about a little about menu here we have the file menu nothing new all old stuff uh, here we have uh, edit menu cut paste rename and format the code indent lowercase uppercase and stuff and some emojis and we have view design code debug view and we have some paths to open at the down part and uh, we have uh, okay editor columns maybe you can divide your screens on two columns zoom in zoom out and full screen okay search and nothing new maybe build menu is important for us control shift b it was 
for Windows, but now it's Shift B for Mac. Rebuild all which for Windows was the same Control Shift B. So here will be Control Shift uh, Mac Shift B. So this is Shift and it's Mac. And testing and clean the test code and all those things. And this is here is the run debug version control systems. Uh, actually, this version control system is a I guess an Apple standard. Uh, normally, uh, you can find this in every uh, code application program. It's the same in IntelliJ uh, softwares. Uh, also in Xcode. So we have some tools, iOS and Mac and stuff. So the nothing important here and some search and help. Okay. So here it's a panel that gives us a current output of something. Here we have the solutions. We have our dependencies. Suppose you want to add a nugget package, so you are gonna click here and right click add a package. So it opens you the nugget package manager. So suppose you want to install init, I will install it, but I'm not gonna use it. So it's going to be installed. Adding n unit, you can cancel it in here. At the same time, you can use the CLI. So we have the task here, task panel. Uh, package console so you can follow the changes in your application and here we have some changes so we can follow the version controls here author and from the changes logs and mer merge requests so it's all belong to the uh, version control system so mostly I use git here let's write some code and you know code completion is working amazing here so let me create a and it should conclude this hello there so let's create a war b and i'll write my name okay so now we are gonna you can put a cw is short for console right line and tab tab so we'll say a plus b so but I need to have a space in here, so I would put something like that. So it should show me A plus B. Let's put a debugger in here. Okay, it's nice and cool. And let's start a project. And we should be expecting, uh, yeah, yeah, we can allow it. And we have a console here, you know, uh, the, just at the right. And we will continue to this, and it's executed. Hello, there, hello, he, there, he died. So, you know, you just write the second line in here. So, uh, yeah, you can use terminal here, but uh, I prefer to go use this uh, Mac terminal. So, I guess there's uh, some option for that. Add, we can add some NuGet packages, some extensions, some Docker file support and a clean test clean test console or to clean a project set as a startup project tools version control systems merge request and all those stuff but i don't use this merge control systems i generally go and use this uh, uh, git i mean i just work from the console but the good thing is like you know dotnet core is working from console so you never need this editor so you can use any text editor let me find this file it's in here so uh, this is my project right so it's created me a solution file so you know actually I can go here oh my god uh, I can go here I will open this directory with the uh, terminal so it's my terminal and I'm, I'm in directory so I can write let me see if it's stopped okay I can write dot net let me do an ls so we have the program files programs uh, cs so we can write dot net run so it's gonna run this application for us look the application just run and you wrote me he died and all those stuff uh, so that's all for now so you can do the same thing with web and it's really amazing the colors are amazing you can change the colors play with some colors here if you go to your preferences and uh, visual so you can just hit and uh, change some things in here and uh, you can have some code editing things like you can add rules for c sharp f sharp json less xmls 
some general uh, things like where you want to set your output directory get something on that so stashing automatically stash so these are all and it's really amazing and i really enjoy this visual studio uh, and i really even changed its inside settings you can also install plugins in it and it's really cool you can work with many uh, project at the same time and it's uh, amazing uh, it's really amazing this is uh, one of the greatest job done by microsoft after 2017 they really open everything to cross platform and i really enjoy uh, i wish they launched the same thing for linux and uh, i get regularly updates every six months uh, yet i have no bugs no crash so it's amazing it's uh, i would really suggest you try this if you are a mac user or if you are a Windows user and you are using, uh, you are a C Sharp developer, .NET developer, ASP.NET Core developers, and uh, you want to try MacBook or just leave the PCs, and yeah, of course it's a time, it's a, it's the correct time to decide and just move to the Macs, and it's really easy, it's really amazing. Uh, so I will finish this video here. Uh, subscribe to my channel and I will share uh, amazing stuff and videos uh, at the same time I will share my Udemy courses coupons